This news uh, headline caught my attention and I wanted to give a few thoughts because I feel quite strongly about these uh, reality TV shows and uh, I remember when this show first started and how vexing it was to see and uh, how they merchandise people's vulnerabilities and net them and basically make a lot of money out of them. Like, uh, high profits out of these um, reality TV shows. Now the headline is a man uh, killed himself after appearing on one of these shows, taking a lie detector test for adultery. And as the story goes, he uh, boldly volunteered to clear his name in the lie detector test, uh, said he's lying and that he did have an affair and uh, the man uh, took his own life. Now I don't know the truth of the story but the, uh, the, whole, the whole rig is um, appalling how people are utilised and the government have uh, axed the show permanently according to this newspaper story and they're looking into uh, launched a probe into a re reality TV show in the wake of this tragedy and and two Love Island deaths which I was unaware of uh, to me these are all uh, socially engineered projects or on the back of the idea the motivation and ultimately the, this is a the motivation is Satan the prince of this world, the principality of this world, he um, inspires and directs this sort of motive. Uh, I don't like, um, I don't have any sympathy for Jeremy Carl. Um, and I really can't get my head around how people allow themselves to be exposed and especially with personal problems and uh, allow themselves to be opened up by a large viewing audience who are just titillating, gratifying their own, their own itchy ears and uh, for entertainment it's how can people, how can you mix uh, something so serious with an entertainment show and profit from it so this, you know, the mighty have fallen uh, this guy uh, owns 85% of a media company behind the show. I don't know who's behind him. I don't know what this man is involved with. But I, I've always discerned he's, he's quite evil and disingenuine. And he's a celebrity idol and ego. Uh, and apparently he's heartbroken and... But I don't know what's in the man's heart. I pray he uh, repents. And this is uh, one of those uh, life experiences. And I pray for good that he uh, turns to the Lord and uh, stops this sort of, uh, realizes his sort of behavior. And um, he seeks forgiveness and salvation. Uh, but the families of these uh, these these victims of these shows and the fallout you don't see. See, all, all you see is the uh, circus of people making uh, money and merchandise out of uh, vulnerable people who come in their droves. So I wonder what the motive is behind behind the drive of these uh, reality TV shows. I remember Big Brother and how awful that I used to. People used to rat, uh, the, the world loves its own, as they say, as the word of God says, the world loves its own. And uh, when I first saw Big Brother, it was just red flags, red flags. Uh, how could people be so gullible to allow themselves to be exposed? And I remember catching, I think it was the first show, I watched a bit of it. And I realised that there's all what's but my first question is well what's behind this the silence and the big brother what's behind it who is behind it who's the organisation there's never any spotlight on that 
And I remember in one show, they had a load of guests, a psychiatrist, behind the glass. And, and it was announced on the show that they were there, if I remember rightly. And, and they're all monitoring. And it's a kind of, and I wondered, is this like a social engineering project? And they're going to, they're actually going to make decisions on the back of these um, programs, what they learn from this sort of behaviour from these people. And it, it, if you're interested and you, you, you study, if you study uh, social engineering, now there's one name that is quite uh, famous, it's a... Uh, Stanley Milgram, uh, he after that he was a he's a Jewish uh, social psychologist, and after the he wanted to study what made people behave in the Holocaust, why how how do people do such uh, awful things, and it was his quest to discover what motivates and. Uh, the psychology of uh, that sort of behaviour and he set up a, um, some famous experiments I can't remember the name of the experiments one was a shock experiment where people were very biased because nobody was told that they're on an, an experiment but it did show some quite startling results and I think this guy's motive was um, he, he, he sincerely wanted to learn truth. I don't know if he, there's anything sinister behind him, but the, the knowledge that they gain from these experiments and these um, peered papers is that, that that knowledge goes into other people's hands and it's, it's utilised for both good and evil. And um, uh, there's a few other names, uh, Ewan Cameron of the... Dr. Ewan Cameron of the MK Ultra. And then there's uh, Joseph Mengele, the infamous angel of death in the experimented on children and Jewish children and uh, sick twins and uh, vulnerable uh, handicapped people in um, of their own race and you've got this um, two sides to this social and uh, social psychology that you've got the, the evil and the the good intended which is uh, possibly none of it's any good really uh, now Michael Aquino is the another another name that comes to mind uh, a satanic ritual abusive um, CIA officer who sexually abuses children and he's uh, in, uh, synonymous with the MK Ultra monarch programming the, and that's to do with social engineering so that's an evil side as Ewan Cameron was uh, one of these psychiatrists now all these philosophies are based on occult, uh, occult belief systems and that's where they're rooted and um, it's quite horrific to to wonder what what the motives behind these um, these kind of reality programs. So I wanted to share those thoughts to uh, for people to consider, and how these uh, and how the government now is uh, looking into it. Which is well, it makes me wonder why why didn't they look at it look into it in the first place and you've got all these reality shows uh, rolling out so I'm just wondering what's up the road you know are they gonna put the brakes on and stop it or are they just gonna uh, adjust the rules so they can carry on doing it but um, just for the uh, uh, cover-up sake to write restrictions and tighten up the rules a bit so it's not so transparent but I always wonder what what who who and what are behind these uh, reality TV shows and the main motive is mammon 
as it's quite apparent so there's a lot of people profiting from these uh, awful awful works and these these programs and uh, it's quite a uh, quite upsetting to think people allow themselves to uh, expose themselves to them and it is kind of like a social engineering that people are being farmed and the TV feeds the um, popular culture and it shapes psych uh, psychology, people's behaviour and people, um, I remember speaking uh, my views on Big Brother and people can't seem to uh, they they defend it to the hilt and you and and you're giving real concerns about people's lives and it's taken this long for the government to realize that that, that they're wrong that they're bad that they exploit people they exploit vulnerabilities and there's these two love island deaths and uh, I was horrified to catch a documentary on I think it was either Channel 4 or BBC about the psychology of building people's confidence and they got a load of volunteers a lot of guinea pigs to strip off naked so it built their confidence <laughs> and you get these branches and uh, uh, sick hybrids of this sort of behavior and it's going going crazy it's going wild and perhaps this will um, wake people up to being caught out in these uh, popular culture shows that are held up by these celebrity gurus who are who are really rich and make a lot of money and I saw on the news how they were trashing um, Nigel Farage about, and his Brexit sponsor and filming his uh, his house and uh, how rich he is and and I and I wondered well they don't fill film all the other people's houses you know they don't they don't give everybody the same treatment they seem to bias who they don't like and favour who 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 they support so the BBC's not and the news aren't so um, partisan it's sort of very biased and uh, they never filmed put the camera on. Uh, Jeremy Carl heartbroken in his home. I wonder what sort of home he lives in. Um, but anyway, he's fallen from from the heights of celebrity, and uh, he's going to be feeling the the weight of the um, consequences. <laughs> and uh, I wonder what else is going to come out in the woodwork from people who've uh, been on these shows and never had their experiences are uh, heard or known and um, it's all propped up while well, we've got counsellor teams and we take care of people but these are all afterthoughts the main the main motive is money and uh, possibly a more sinister social engineering to uh, shape the uh, general public or the audience's mentality and, and further lead them into that sort of culture and the new wave of reality TV and uh, it has shape, shaped the future which isn't good, which is uh, the whole world's under condemnation and uh, but this is a, a victory for common sense I suppose, it's prevailed briefly or I wonder how, much, how long it will last and uh, what will come of this but uh, I wanted to just share those thoughts on Social engineering. If you uh, study, if you'd like to study it out, it's very, very telling what some of these um, the methods used and some of the experiments that they try on people without their knowledge. And 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 uh, all, all this knowledge is passed on to students who go on and continue these uh, experiments today and carry on practicing on people without their knowledge. So it makes you wonder. Well. well how many social engineering projects are going on on individuals through the media what's being learnt from it, what's being gleaned from it and what will come of it in the future it's all gearing to uh, the end times of the uh, pouring out of the strong delusion 
and the Antichrist system and shaping people into accepting accepting whatever it feeds it. It's sort of um, sw Hansel and Gretel with sweets into the the next episode. So heads up for the next episode of uh, reality TV shows and uh, because they won't like to stop uh, losing losing out in making money there'll be a new ideas coming forward there'll be new celebrities and I'm sure Jeremy Kyle will um, come up with some rebranding like uh, Noel Edmonds did he re he, he brought he rebranded uh, his show and he, he even went on a re <laughs> A reality show. Uh, what was it? Um, I'm a celebrity. Get me out of here. And uh, these are just to regrease the wheels of these uh, dying celebrities who like the limelight. So I wonder if uh, Jeremy Carl's going to be repentant, or is he going to bounce back? Or we'll see. Anyway, I'm going to close there in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen.